Disclaimer. This information is for educational and ethical hacking purpose only. Jetwisher is a powerful phishing tool often used for educational and ethical hacking purposes to simulate social engineering attacks. It automates phishing page creation for various websites including Instagram and is used for cyber security training to show how attackers trick users into revealing credentials. Here's how an attacker might create an Instagram phishing link using Jetfisher and it causes your system will be hacked. So you need to update your Kali Linux using sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Now I take time so I'm skipping it. Go to Google and search clone Jetfisher from GitHub and click on first website and copy the code where it is in HT, HTTPS. So come back to our terminal and enter git clone paste your code here. So it will clone the jet fisher from the github to your terminal. Now search for ls list all files. Okay our jet fisher is installed now. So now cd jet fisher for current directory. So clear this page. Okay yeah. Now chmod plus x jetfisher.sh it means it will execute the jetfisher. So dot slash jetfisher.sh it will install the jetfisher. Yeah, it is the newest version of 2.3.5. Now enter two for Instagram phishing page. Now enter one for traditional login page and ask for local expose. So enter three and we didn't have any custom port. So enter no. So it will start the PHP server and give us some phishing link. Wait up, yeah. Yeah, or URL one. So copy the link and go to your browser. Paste your link here. So it will take you to local expose HTML page. So it is when you visit it, yeah, it will give us Instagram phishing page. Yeah, it is. It seems like the original yeah, because it is the open source tool for social engineering that automates the creation of fake login page of website like Instagram. So when you enter the credentials, when it seems like uh, legitimate, then it saves all the data in our terminal. So back to our terminal and see what happened. Our victim IP is found and our victim's IP address is found. And our the credentials are saved in authentication class ip.txt. Our account number and password. Authentication slash users names dot that it will save the users victims information. So now if they make a command like a cat, it will show the content of the uh, authentication. So cat. It will show the IP address of the person of our victim. And next now, cat space authentication slash username to name dot that. It will show our Instagram username, victim's uh, username, and the victim's password. So double dot for back to our directory. And thank you for watching this video, guys.